Hi YouTube, Ontario 1986 here. Uh, today is Sunday the 19th of January um, and I've decided to come for a, a bit of a day hike uh, with my father. Um, we're going to a place called the Haringworth Viaduct which, which we've worked out is about six or seven miles away from where we live. So uh, we met up this morning, had a cup of tea, something to eat. Um, I've been walking for around an hour so far. Um, where we're going to, like I say, the Haringworth Viaduct. Um, it's kind of a famous landmark in my local area. It's the um, oldest and longest, I believe, masonry viaduct in the UK. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna probably got about another hour or so's walking ahead of us. Um, then we'll stop off, have a cup of tea, and um, I'll bring you back when we're when we're down at the viaduct, so you can see it because it's uh, it, it, the views are awesome. Um, what I'll do now, though, I'll turn the camera around so you can um, so you can see the viaduct in the uh, in the distance. You will have to excuse me. I'm using a new camera, so hopefully the quality has improved. But I'm still getting used to it. So that's the viaduct there, um, and the views that we've got are fantastic. So what I'll do is um, I'll put the camera on pause. Um, once we're a bit closer down or if we see anything um, interesting along the way, we'll bring you back. Okay, see you soon. So we walked down to the far end of the viaduct and we're just tracing our steps because this area here seems like it's the best place to stop and have a cup of tea. Right next to the river. And just to give you some idea of how high it is, you know, it is incredibly high. Like I said previously, it is the, uh, the, the longest and oldest masonry viaduct in the UK. Um, we're gonna pop, our, pop here for a cup of tea. And there's still bricks. This is built in the 1800s and this, I don't know if these are original or not, but they look bloody old. Anyway, that's for sure. So uh, yeah, we'll put you on pause. We're going to follow ourselves on the opposite side of the viaduct because we are going to head off in this direction once we've had a cup of tea. Maybe head into the village and maybe have a cheeky pint as well. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back soon. So we've just finished our cup of tea. Um, my dad's just packing the bag away, but look at this for a view. It's, uh, it's the 19th of January. The uh, wind chill is a little bit cold um, on the back of the neck, but look at the sun. What a glorious day! So, um, like I say, my dad's just packing a few things away. And actually, I think a train's about to go overhead, it's still in use. But one thing we found. I don't know if you can still hear me or not. Is we, uh, obviously there's lots of old bricks from when it's been renovated in the past. Um, and I had a quick Google, so we've got, I don't know if you can see that, we'll try to piece it together. This, this is a Stafford blue brick. Apparently it's ideal for this kind of construction. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you, I'm in, actually in awe, it's amazing. Um, and to think that it's been here for so many years, still standing, still in use. Uh, but what I'll do is, I, when we get back on the uh, on the path, we will bring you back. So, um, yeah, been walking probably three quarters of the way back um, home. Stopped off in a pub um, to have a well-deserved uh, beer, um, nice traditional ale. Um, my dad's just gone to go and get it. So, yeah, all in all, lovely trip out. Um, you can't beat it. Um, the video probably isn't the best video in the world. Um, I don't know how many people actually just want to see me go for a walk and get out and about, but for a few reasons really. One, to test a, f a few bits of kit out that I got for Christmas um, that I'm going to be using on a big camp that I've got coming up on the 1st of February. And two, just to um, test this new camera out. So what, you're, what I'm filming this on now is a, is a new camera that I got for Christmas as well. Um, hopefully you'll see that the quality's improved since uh, my last video. Um, all my last videos um, previously um, and that's kind of it um, yeah um, I'd love to hear your thoughts as always um, 
And if you have any ideas of uh, kits or any kit recommendations, please let me know because I'm, I'm currently, you know, going through the kit that I've got, testing it out. Um, I've been doing this kind of bushcrafty prepping stuff for a year now, and um, still. I'm trying to find the perfect balance of what works for me and what what, what um, loadout I should take. So, yeah, that's me, Hunterian, 1986. Stay safe.